one. Um, now we are going to make a bow. Oh, rip that. Um, so basically what we want is it to be roughly this size. So this is just farm, um, farm paper, you know, where you put your sculpting farms on. Or what your sculpting farms come on. I'll just show you. Just like sculpting farms, yeah, just this paper. So now you can see a bit better. Yeah, like a, like a big roll, isn't it? <laughs> big roll. Yeah, farms, and it's just this paper. So I'm drawing on the the matte side. Okay. And then this is roughly how big I want my bow to be. So I'll just double check the size, make sure it's roughly okay. Yeah, I reckon that's um, a good size bow. Yeah. So now I know how big I want it. I'm going to roll it back out. Okay. And then use a marker to hopefully get through so we can see it on the other side. Okay. So, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yay. So we can roughly see it on the other side. So what we need to do is make a triangle, um, two triangles, but I want it to be a bit more 3D. So we need to make another triangle on this side. All right, so you can draw it out if you want to. So you get this weird like shape, yeah? These are your guides. So when you turn it over, you can kind of see where I need to be. We need to be on this side, the shiny side, otherwise the acrylic will stick in there. A bead of the acrylic, quite big. Drain it, so it's not gonna run anywhere. I'm gonna pop it in the middle of that like square diamond. And then give it a few seconds to settle. So then it's more moldable. And then we move it till it fits that shape. It's a bit sticky, this one. Keep moving till you're happy. Make sure this bends, blends over that centre. And it should be relatively thin. Pat it down. Make sure the edge is nice and straight. Okay. And then once it's semi-cured, we're going to lift it and roll it. Just making sure the thickness is quite even. I'm going to go in with my 3D brush, dampen it with the liquid, and then wiggle. Right, okay, that's not cured enough. You can see it bending too much. When I'm pushing it in, it's changing the shape of it. So just give it a few more seconds. I have to go in from the other side now, though, because that side will be a bit wet. Yeah, if 
few seconds. Just have to drink my coffee there. Right, liquid in the brush, clean it off, and then wiggle. There we go. We can see I can maneuver it without it denting. So lift it, roll it. I'll show you from that video actually. Lift it, roll it. Yeah, and then this centre bit, the point, put it in line with the other point, and then you're going to pinch that down. Um, if you use a shorter brush, short acrylic brush, um, you'll be able to push down a little bit harder on it and really join it together. So squish it, squish, squish, squish. Yeah, and then we're going to open this up. So putting the brush in. Oh. Roll that out. And that'll really open that bow up. Oops, sorry. So push that out. Push this out and you can make dents in the acrylic. make it look like one side of a bow. You see I'm really rolling this out to create like a fold. To really work at it, fold it out. And pinch the end of it so it gets really thin like that and this will allow us to um, put um, the tying ribbon in the middle of it without it becoming too big and bulky right so one side done Leave that to cure. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. So a big brush. And I'm going to pop it in this line here. This line here. And then we're going to make that diamond shape and then roll over. The liquid, biggish bead. Drain it. And then place on that line give it a little bit just to settle about 10 seconds usually if you're going too early it'll start sticking to your brush okay just start maneuvering it around so this one stays a bit sticky a bit wet for a while and kind of use the tip of your brush to essentially like paint it, put it in place, and then it'll level out. Just around that edge, square that off. Make sure that's in line with that point there. Start patting it. That one needs to come down a bit. But, but, but. Round. And then a point. And this one can go around as well. So, this edge. Round. And a point. If one side's bigger than the other, if one bead's bigger than the other, one side will be bigger than the other. So really work on that bead side. If you're confident enough, you can do two sides at once. It's totally up to you. Right. So yeah, it's quite even and thin. Just 
rounding this one off so it's a bit more in line with the other one. You see you've got enough time to play with it, you don't need to panic and start rushing. Give it time. If you're going too early, you know, it just won't work. You'll have more issues if you're going too early. Right, so the slightly bigger brush, slightly smaller brush, the acrylic. Right, and then wiggle underneath, release it, and then put it down. And put it in the line. There we go. Just right, even, oh, that's me even smaller brush. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Just start playing and opening up that bow. Lift it up, squish it in. effect right. put them next to each other squish that one into that one so we're overlapping in the center And now we can go in with our centre ribbon where it ties it all together. I'm going to use my smaller brush this time, pick up a bead, drain it, and we're going to place it in the centre and then push it over. Yeah. So you can leave it just like that if you want to, but I always like to just drag it over and then it actually looks like it's you know, going around the bow rather than just sitting. Just put it around here. Push it down. So I've just used the tip of my brush just to get in there. The keys and the, the devil's in the detail, as RuPaul would say. Don't know who RuPaul is. I love him. If you're watching RuPaul ever, <laughs> hi. <laughs> that'd be the day. That'd be amazing. Never gonna wrap a leg, but that'd be cool. Okay. So I'm just gonna let this settle for a minute. And then I am going to just get a bit of brown. So I'll be back in a minute just to get the brown. So here's our cured bow. Um, there's not a lot of definition in uh, in these um, the centre bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the black and the white. And this is how we add a bit more depth. Uh, I did try and find the brown. Ideally, you want brown, but I can't find the brown, so we're just going to use the black. Right, so just a little bit of liquid and the really small acrylic brush. And then you're just going to start popping that there. You can see already, it just highlights and shadows and really helps bring out um, the marks we've just made. You have to have the tiniest amount of black. Otherwise, it'll just take over everything. Just always really think about shadowing and highlighting everything. Right, yeah, just going to put a bit in these folded areas. Again, just helps create more depth.
can actually see this side against this side now. So much better. Spin it. Do the same on that side. Do a little bead. And the tops are right in there. And just drag it down. Along with shadowing, we need some highlighting as well. So I'm going to pick up the white. I'm going to highlight some areas. So them high points, a little bit of white. on the edges. So you can use like white gel or white paint to do this as well. such a small amount it's better to go in with a little bit and need more than too much and mess it up I'm gonna build on it yeah. just a little bit on this side as well See when I paint it, it really brings out the, the colour and smooths it out as well. Yeah, you see the light difference, the colour difference. You don't want to put too much top coat on because then you'll lose the definition in the lines and that. 
because you'll end up flooding it. So it's just a coating. Yeah, pop that in the lamp. Right, so that's now been in the lamp. Um, I'm just going to use uh, a brush and go, like a Brill Bear brush and go. So it's a gel colour that'll um, cure without a tacky layer. Okay, and then now we're going to do some dots for our detail. Right, cure. Just on them edges. Bring it down so it really is highlighted. because all that gel is already cured underneath we can just take it off like that dead easy and really highlight that top bit there you finished acrylic bow okay so check out the other videos to see what I put this on and how I paint um, the character that this belongs on like this here okay and don't forget to subscribe and uh, see some extra uh, a little lot don't forget to subscribe and see my other videos
All right, cool. Bye.